What's good everyone, it's your dig, 4 eyes, 2 G's here, and today we're here to talk about the 2018 XXL freshman list, following up on my part 1 of this video. Basically, if you guys haven't seen this series before, I take the list and I have a look at how the rapper's career has played out since their placement on that list. Pretty simple, make sure to tell me your thoughts about it in the comments below, and if you haven't checked out part 1, I'll put the links in the description, but let's get onto it. This is come and go, yeah I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. on me talking, say hello, hello. Shawty love them drugs, want some more All this money got me in control, in control yeah. Bitches come and go, yeah I know, know. Diamonds on me talking, say hello, hey, hello. Shawty love them drugs, want some more All this money got me in control, in control yeah. And let's kick it off with Smoke Perp Across 2017 and 18, Perp was really able to glow up And between tracks like Audi, 123 and Nephew He was able to assert himself as one of the most prominent artists of the newer generation Although Dead Star 1 is by far his best project for me I still enjoy his other projects But 2019 saw a change of scenery for Perp And there has been an undeniable slowdown in his movement Whereas, Dead Star 1 debuted at number 42 on the Hot 100 Dead Star 2 debuted nearly 100 spots lower at 137 And keep in mind, when Dead Star 1 came out That was before Perp was even mainstream Before he had a certified song So after 2 years, multiple certified songs And he does significantly worse That's honestly a worrying sign If his Twitter is anything to go off It seems that we may be in for a new sonic direction from Perp And I think he needs it I think Audi 2 not really getting much traction Showed him that he can't really continue to make the same music Because he's on the verge are falling off and I think what he comes with in 2020 will be a determinant of that. After Perp, let's talk about Ski Mask. And Ski, quite simply, has been able to kill shit since he got onto the XXL list. His debut album Stokely did pretty much everything you could hope a debut album could do for you. It did well commercially first week, it spawned multiple hits that are now certified, and lastly, he was able to achieve that hard to find balance of making an album that your already existing fans as well as new listeners can both embrace in the same way. Ski's glow up is a success story and it's still is early for Ski because he doesn't drop a lot of music, but right now all signs point towards him continuing to glow, and I'm looking forward to hearing his next project. And before we go on guys, a quick shout out to Trap on Lean from my Instagram. Big shout outs goes to UG, appreciate you showing me love, and appreciate everyone else over on my Instagram showing love and supporting your boy. If you haven't, at your dig, make sure to follow your boy. Also reminded by my Cardi and Travis merch tees, links in the description to cop if you're interested. Also make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good YouTube stuff. But let's keep it moving and talk about YB and Namir. And to be frank, Namir's music never really connected with me like it did others, and seeing him blow up in the way he did in such a short period of time kind of surprised me. But seeing him kind of fumble and fade away the longer and longer 2019 went on didn't really. I think people kind of got sick of that sound he was running with, and with his last two singles, one of which had Tiger and City Girls both flopping, it's pretty quiet right now for Namir, and it's clear his project rollout has been put on hold until he gets hot again. Realistically, I don't think it's over because all he does need is a Cole Bennett video and he'll probably be back, but even still then, I don't see him getting much bigger than where he is at right now. And in my opinion, people have realized he's fairly one-dimensional and have moved on to more talented people like Corday for example. After Namir, next to talk about is Wi-Fi's funeral, and sadly, it just hasn't worked out for Wi-Fi. He's one of the most consistent artists to come out in recent times, with him dropping solid project after solid project. Personally, 2018's Ethernet sticks out to me a lot still to this day. However, there's no denying the fact that he basically went nowhere since the XXL spot. And right now, he's in a low point in his career in terms of relevance. Definitely underrated, definitely slept on, and hopefully 2020 is a year he can really make a mark and reap the rewards of his hard work. But as of right now, he just hasn't been able to capitalize on the platform he had. And lastly to touch on we get to Jid, and Jid deserves all the success he is getting, and whilst he definitely has had a little glow up over the past year, particularly with the fantastic DiCaprio 2 netting him a lot of commercial, critical and fan praise helped to grow his movement a ton, I feel like this is only the beginning, and over the next couple years, Jid is poised to have a proper ascension to mainstream stardom. Having someone like Cole in your corner to guide you also is just such a help. It's almost hard to imagine a scenario where he doesn't have a ton of success, because right Right now, Jid seems like he's been able to check all the boxes. The next big box for him to tick is been able to come with a radio-friendly track that fully crossovers to the mainstream, and if slash when that happens, I think Jid is out of here. But what do you guys think? Who do you guys think has fallen off? Who do you guys think is still relevant on this list? Let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good YouTube stuff, and there are more videos of mine on screen right now. Do make sure to check them out if you haven't.